thought you might help me. We're looking for a patrol that might have passed this way, maybe two or three days ago. There were six men and an officer. You awake? Ain't they heard the war is over? I thought you might have noticed them. Six Rebs and a Union captain. There was a woman with them. Yeah. I remember the woman. Everybody does. Did you happen to notice when they left? Does uh, that woman mean something to you? I've never seen her. Is the store open? It's open. But you won't like it. Buy a drink? Don't say I didn't warn you. Are you still trying to get rid of them shin plasters? <laughs> <laughs> These are greenbacks, U.S. The bet was three dollars, metal. These greenbacks are as good as any metal. You keep them and I'll keep the metal. Well, here's the boy, easy boy. What do you lose like it, Hanlon? Want to put your money on that, Charlie? Now, wait a minute. Get your hands off me. Turn it loose and I'll show you. Double or nothing? Anything you want. Right, we'll do this right. Down at the corral. My man wins, I don't owe you, right? Right. What's your name? Tyler. Now, what's going on in this town? Old Charlie bet he'd hit the first man who came through the saloon door. Tell you about it in, I figured it'd be Pike. Pike? Glenn Denning's foreman. They mostly work for Glenn Denning.
where you heading? Well, I just thought I'd get me a beer, Luke. Did you forgetting something? Pretty good for our Eastern boy. Yeah, well, that one's a good school. Figure we'll stay around here a while. Looking for patrol that passed through here. Captain of six men. And the woman will. Yeah, that's right. You know where they're headed? Seems like peace makes strange bedfellows. Six Johnny Rebs and a blue belly captain. Be in such a hurry. What do they call you? Tyler. Your patrol headed south two days ago. Took the Comanche Trail toward the Big Bend country. How far is it to Mexico? It's far enough. Depends on which trail you take. Thanks. It's all right. Figure I owe you a favor. All right, what happened to it? Well, I don't get in an uproar. I asked you what happened to the money. Well, it looked like he was going to lose. So I bet it on old Charlie. You idiot. <laughs> Two to one, he gets up. I'll take it. You bet two to one? Keep your paper. Why, right, it's good you ask. All right, you're on. Two to one, he gets up. figured that uh, since you haven't got the price of a meal, you might be interested in a little free barbecue. Not at your prices, friend. Just thought we might talk about that patrol. church social. I have it every year. You are a member of the church? No. But you might as well know it. Uh, my old man's a preacher. Well, I'm glad to hear that. It's for a while I thought I couldn't trust you. Why, uh, you're a man of little faith, Brother Tyler. Little faith. And no money the way things turned out. Yeah. I told you I'd try to help you. Well, fair enough. Now look, the patrol is heading down the Comanche Trail to the Big Bend country. I could use your help. Well, I didn't tell you that. Or you didn't tell me anything. Look, all I know is a patrol came into town with a girl and a captain, and uh, there was a sergeant called Dixon. They bought supplies and left. Paid for them in Yankee gold. Well, there's 30,000 more where that came from. 30,000? That's right. They have it with them. They, were you part of this patrol? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got your hands on that 30,000. What would you do? Take it back where it belongs. Take it back? Why? Let's just say I'm a good citizen. How's the water, Jeff? Uh, where do you think you're going? Oh, gotta meet uh, Morgan Cole. I heard Lily's back and I figured she'd be at the dance. So will uh, Glenn Denning and Pike and the boys. Well, there's not much he can do. He's already fired me. Hey, he'll think of something. Well, I haven't danced with her in a year, and I just thought I'd go up there. Yeah. You put one hand on her, and it's going to be Katie bar the door. I wasn't figuring on going there alone. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Preacher gets riled enough if his congregation sees me. All I need to do is show up with you. <laughs> well, nobody asked you, Jeff. But maybe I'll see you up there if you uh, think it's safe. Uh, now, wait a minute. Preacher said I never did have sense enough to come in out of the rain. Well, wait until I get dressed. See you coming, Pa. Mm -hmm. What you mean, Tyler? You just got in town. Howdy, son. Sorry to see that you fall in with evil companions before you get a chance to put the root down. Glad to know you, sir. That's <laughs> preachers and politicians gotta have the grip. That's right. Folks like to know that their government and the church are in good, strong hands. He's leaving in the morning. I'm gonna take him down the trail. Mm -hmm. Before you plan on going, young fella. Jeff, why'd you bring him here? You think I could stop him? Morgan! Signs said everybody welcome. Yeah, church picnics like the kingdom of heaven. Everybody's welcome, but you gotta qualify. You figuring on doing a little dance, Miss Lily? Gun's got no place on the dance floor, so I'll take yours. Is that all you wanted, River? No, it's good. But I reckon it'll do me for now. to get the ladies to serving. Folks are more likely to stay out of trouble if they just started in the evening. Changed since you went away. Lord, this isn't the place. I think you're prettier. Why shouldn't Morgan dance with her? Because old man Glenn Denny doesn't like it. Well, by the looks of him, that should kind of cut down on her dancing partners. You're right. What's he got against Morgan? Well, Morgan used to work for it. Until he started going around with Lily, then the old man fired him. And when they kept on seeing each other, the old man sent Lily back east to school. Where back east? Uh, New England somewhere. I don't know, you'll have to ask Morg. He got letters from her. You see, Comanche's raised Morgan after they killed his folks. He lived with them five years until he was rescued. I guess some folks think some of that Comanche rubbed off. Who rescued him? 
Jesse Glendenny. Jesse, I, I didn't know you were going to honor us. Oh, Lily wanted to come. Now I'm sorry I listened to her. You can't refuse a pretty girl like that. Send her back east to school. That certainly has agreed with that child. Hey, I see you've put on a few new hands. That, that don't hardly make sense with beef cattle selling around here for three or four dollars a head. Paying forty dollars a head up north. I'm making a drive to Abilene in the spring. Well, there's no trail from here to Abilene. Then I'll build a trail. Let's drive up north or I'll go out of the cattle business. It's worth taking a chance, all right. Forty dollars a head. That's a lot of money, Jesse. What this country needs is money. Then you'll see some changes. You mean like a building for a new church? We could sure use one. That old adobe's about to wash down on our heads. Yeah, a new church. And an ordained minister. Ordained? Jesse, a diploma is just a piece of paper. I got my spiritual calling direct. That may be so, Sam. But all I've got is your word on it. Stop it. Two men fight, it's a duel. Somebody tries to stop and it becomes a war. This ain't Philadelphia. It sure ain't. Responsible for this, Jesse. You've never any doubt which side of the fence your family's on, eh, Sam? No, sir, not where you're concerned. And let me tell you one more thing. When the good Lord decides that one man's going to run this human race, he's going to come down here and get that job done himself. I gave Morgan his chance. Sure, you gave him a chance. Let Pike kill him or run away from the law. Either way, you'd be rid of the boy, would you? 
Let me tell you something else. I'm talking to the sheriff, and you're not going to get your warrant. The sheriff won't be back until morning. Huh? He's away on business. Business? Jesse, you think of everything, don't you? Yeah, that's why I'm paying salaries instead of working for them. Come on, Lily. We're going home. Is that true what Mr. Shelby said? Honey, if you start listening to criticism now, you'll spend so much time defending yourself, you won't have time for anything else. You did want to get rid of Morgan, didn't you? What Morgan did was up to him. I told him to leave you alone. Why? We've been all through this before. You're my only heir. I need the kind of son-in-law who can not only handle what I've started here, but double it, triple it if he's man enough. And you don't think Morgan's man enough? If I hadn't pulled that young scrub out of an Indian camp, by now he'd be nothing but a Comanche buck. Would that make me if I marry him? A Comanche squaw? You're not gonna marry him. Don't be so sure. Want me to go get her? Nah, leave her alone. She'll build her. Take care of Whitey. Get Pike's body back to the ranch. Stay, Pa. I gotta see Ty down the trail. What does Ty want down that trail? Well, you know that patroller came by the other day? Yeah. Well, Ty says they got $30,000 with him. Now, you're interested in helping Ty, or you're interested in that $30,000? Well, uh, nobody ever asked a dollar where it came from. They've been known to question the man that carried it, though. Well, I ain't got it yet. You ain't like you, too. You're going to find a Mescalero Apache around every one of those rocks. Well, that's what I'm figuring on. The Mescaleros ought to drive that patrol right into our lap. Ah, hmm? will you come with me? Jeff, I ain't going down the trail with you. Not down the trail, just to the fork. Morgan's got to see you. Morgan. Saddle my horse. I'll be with you in a minute. you tell me Lily was here? I knew you wouldn't have come. Young lady, you better be getting back home before your father finds out about this. I'm not going back. They want to be married. Married? Jeff, you know I can't do a thing like that. Why not, Reverend? I'm going with them. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Yes, I can. I can tell your father. Will you? Look, it seems to me that you're trying to get Mr. Shelby into an awful lot of trouble. Now, wait a minute, young fellow. I'm not afraid of Glenn Denning. They wanted to ask you first. If you won't do it, they'll get hitched at the mission. Mission? Why, a young unmarried girl can't be out all night long with three young fellows? That, that's indecent. Well, if there's a priest at the mission, let's get out of here. Come on. I think you're right, sir. Coming, Jeff? Glad you didn't do it, Pa. Nobody ever got anywhere bucking Glenn Denning. Uh... Now, wait a minute. Don't be in such an old fired hurry. Morgan, you line your horse up alongside the litter there. Jeff, 
You and Ty get over there and be the witnesses. Take off your hands, fellas. Now, who has the ring? I have this one. Well, that won't do. Did you bring a ring with you, boy? Well, this wedding's kind of a surprise all around, Reverend. I mean, if um, this would help. Where's my mother's? Morgan Cole. Wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only under her so long as you both shall live? I will. Lily Glendon, wilt I have this man to thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee unto him as long as ye both shall live? I will. Who giveth this woman to this man in marriage? I want her found and brought back here. Search every house in the area if you have to. Wake them up. Get them out of bed. I want my daughter and God help anybody who tries to hide her. Now get out of here and don't come back without her. To those who God have joined together, let no man put asunder. I now pronounce you man and wife. Thank you, Reverend. Now, young fella, I suggest you send that young lady home and I'll have a talk with her father. Well, if Mr. Glenn Denning wants to come to Chihuahua, I'll talk to him. Chihuahua? You're taking that girl into Indian country. Well, it can't be much worse than white man's country. We better be going. Goodbye, Mr. Shelby. Goodbye, lady. Take care of yourself, Bob. Son, I've been telling myself that every morning for 40 years, and it still don't seem to do any good. We'll ride tonight and tomorrow and camp tomorrow night. So long, Bob. So long, son. tough old man for a preacher. A man can call himself anything he wants. He's no more of a preacher than I am. What'd he tell you? Not a damn thing. Nothing. He did give out with a few opinions. I'm not interested in his opinions. You find any of them? What about that new kid, the one called Tyler? He left too. They must be all together. Tyler's following that patrol. I told him they went down the trail toward Big Ben. Howdy, Jess. How have you been looking for me? Well, Simon, it took you long enough to get back. Well, I had a long way to go. I want a warrant for Morgan Cole for murder. It won't be necessary, Jesse. I can arrest him without a warrant. I won't be needing you, Sheriff. 
This may be a long hunt. I just got back from one wild goose chase. It won't hurt me to go on another one. I said I don't want you. I know you don't, Jesse. That's why I'm going. If it is murder, we'll let a circuit judge decide. I ain't pinning a badge on a lynching, legal or otherwise. Well, now that we're getting all legal, maybe I ought to remind you that you hired Morgan Coe as a deputy last year. Maybe you aren't the man to go looking for him. No, you don't have to remind me, Jesse. And if you hadn't have stepped in, he'd have still been with me. Now I'll get my horse. Rider following. Make out who it is. Well, he's by himself, so it ain't Glenn Dunning. Sign of the patrol? Well, you sure hell bet on finding this patrol, ain't you? That's what I came down here for. Well, I can't tell. Somebody drove cattle through here and wiped out all sign of the patrol. If they came through here. Yeah, here they are. Five horses. One may have come through before or later. All right, this is where we'll camp. we an early start in the morning. My men aren't tired. We'll keep on going. I don't care about the men. It's the horses I'm worried about. This is where we'll camp. Simon, a man can get hurt doing what you're doing. I know that, Jesse. I've known it for a long time. What are you so happy about? A man ought to be happy on a honeymoon, even if it ain't his own. That morgue is as jumpy as a sack full of fleas. Come on. It's a good thing the Reverend ain't here. Uh, now let the old preacher fool you. The reason he's so pure is that he's already done everything he could think of. And then a few things that folks thought up for him. Women, most of them. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to. But he used to be known as the greatest lover west of the Pecos. <laughs> you ever notice how he walks with his head over to one side? Well, a bunch of nervous husbands grabbed him out of a saloon in Deming and hung him one night. It's the truth. He'd be dead now if the local madam hadn't run out and cut him down. <laughs> For business reasons, she said. Yeah, that's why he walks with his head to one side, sort of like he's listening for something. Yep, the old man says there's nothing like being hung to reform a man. Saw the light the minute they slapped the horse out from under him. Is that right, Morgan? Well, 
Not exactly, but uh, he's close enough, I guess. I think I'll go take a look around. Yeah, I'll go with you. Let's go back east. Connecticut. Oh, yeah? I wasn't too far from there. Where did you go? West Point. Where did you leave? Well, my brother was an officer in the Army, and he got in some trouble. Oh, I'm sorry. I believe I'll turn in. You, uh, better get some sleep, honey. We're gonna be, uh, up early. Same size as you are. You mean Martha Jane? Uh-huh, if she's home. Well, more than likely, there's some fresh cattle tracks on the trail. How come you followed us, Fa? Looks like someone worked you over, sir. Well, young fella, let's just say that somebody tried to work me over. Now, come on, you young people. Let's get you gear and get out of here. Who are these Mescaleros? You never heard of a Mescalero Apache? They're gathered down the Big Bend country. You know... Indians hate all white people, but a Mescalero, he hates an Indian. They raid Comanches, Americans, Mexicans. It don't make no difference to them. Are they making more now? They've never stopped making more, have they, Mark? Well, I guess you're right, Reverend. They'll fight most anybody. But uh, I figure we can stay out of their way. How about the patrol? Son, if that patrol's got as much gold as you say they have, we're going to end up having a lot of rich Indians in this country. Come on, let's get out of here. It's as far as you go, Simon. You send me back, Jesse? That's right. Before you do this, remember, you'll be back in town in a few days. I'll be there. I suppose you let me worry about that. You sending me off only means one thing. You're murdering a boy. You can think what you like, Sheriff. When the shooting starts, I don't want you or your conscience to back me up. I'll take my gun. How soon you figure on catching up with them? Tonight or tomorrow? They can only go as fast as Lily. I'll find them. Bring him his horse! You raise that boy almost like a son, Jesse. Must be some special kind of hill for a man who's doing what you're doing. Papa's really gonna bounce when he sees this. 
You don't think he'll ever stop following us, do you? Honey, your father owns something. He likes to see it stay home. That goes for lamb and cattle and daughters, too. Now, this Martha Jane, she lives up the road a piece. What a woman. She deals in cattle, too. Anybody's cattle. Right, Mark? That's right, Reverend. She steals them in Texas and sells them in Chihuahua. Then she'll steal a batch in Chihuahua and sell them up here in Texas. You, you ever met her, son? No, I never met her. Heard of her. She sounds like quite a woman. Yes, young fella, she's every bit of that. Now, we better spell our horses down here, because if Martha Jane hears any strange noises, she has a tendency to get a little jumpy. Come on. Seven men and a woman? Yeah, they came through them yesterday. But did they stop by here? Did you, did you get a chance to look at the captain? They stopped by, but I didn't talk to no captain. There was a rev sergeant, called himself Dixon, seemed to be leading the whole shebang. They bought a few things from me and paid with gold. May I see this? Don't forget where you got them. Did, uh, did you get a look at the captain? No, he stayed back in the trail with a couple of the others. Uh, this Dixon seemed to be doing all the talking for him. Well, what time did they go through? Late. I thought they'd stay here, but they just took the stuff and left. Are you following this patrol?
stuff worse than chewing on your own boot. Well, you'll get used to it. There'll be no fire till we cross the river. Is your family still in Philadelphia? Not anymore. My father was killed in the Mexican War. This is just my brother and I. You sound like a real military family. We used to be. Look, before we go on, I'd like to know a little bit more about this patrol you're getting us mixed up in. Now, are you figuring on catching them or joining them? Well, we should be up with them by tomorrow night. Why don't you just wait around then and see? Well, I don't want to wait until tomorrow. I want to know now. Now, you're from the North. What's this uh, captain mean to you? Captain is my brother, Owen Duane. My name is Tyler Duane. What's your brother doing with the Southern Patrol? Owen's a cavalry officer. Just before the war, he married a, a girl from Atlanta. And I guess he just loved her so much, he just forgot what side he was on. Before the war ended, he got his hands on $30,000, which belonged to the Army, and headed south before they could arrest him. He and the patrol were supposed to join General Kirby Smith. But Smith surrendered in Texas. I guess Owen just decided to keep on going. from him you hear sorry for him well, the others are going to start talking about us then why don't you stay with me more well now how close can i stay with six people on a honeymoon oh morgan i didn't mean that i mean sit with me or talk with me we've hardly talked since we've been married well now what do you want me to say don't you know morgan we never used to have any trouble talking that was before you went away. Have I changed that much? No, you haven't changed. It's just that... Well, I've got to get to know you. And get used to you. I'm not get... I don't know what it is. Why did you marry me, Morgan? Do you love me? Or was it just to spite my father? Honey, I loved you. And all I knew were the Indian camps. And when you went away, it was like... like half of me dying inside. Now, do you think I want to do this to you? Dragging you down to Mexico with your old man on our trail? Now, what do you think Jesse's gonna do to us when he catches up, Lily? Don't you think I know what he's got on his mind? I have. Look, either you're going to be an orphan or a widow. Now, do you want to decide that? Honey, after 12 years, this isn't the wedding present I wanted for you. Morgan. Morgan, I love you so. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's long gone. Stove's cold. Well, what about the others? I'd say they all left together. Then Martha Jane went with them? I've been wondering. You don't suppose a preacher'd marry him? He's got no authority to marry anybody. Lots of folks down our way couldn't afford to agree with you. Lots of folks down our way haven't agreed with me for years. Get some of the boys to look over in the draw. See if you can find any more of my herd over there. She made a mistake this time. You ain't gonna change Martha Jane. This here is the original running iron ranch. I may not be able to change her, but I can make sure she hasn't got a ranch to come back to. All right, boys, let's take a walk.
here last night. Looks like your brother took one of them with him. This one was shot a while back, and I guess they put him out of his misery here. What about the other one? Or maybe he objected. Well, I guess that cuts down the odds, son. That leaves four. Looks like this Dixon wants a bigger split. How long have they been dead? Oh, I don't know. They're still warm, but uh, more than likely it's the sun.
those Twin Peaks over there? Well, that's Mule Deer. Now, we're going to head west past Mule Deer in the morning because we can't cross the Rio Grande south of here. So you're welcome to come along. Thanks, but the uh, patrol is still moving south. Well, there's a couple of things I don't think they know. First of all, they can't cross the river, and uh, they're an Indian country. Oh, come on. We haven't seen an Indian since we started. Son, you don't see a Mescalera Apache till he wants to be seen. Right, Jeff? Well, I think I'll string along with Ty for a while. Why don't you come with us? You can't help your brother now. Maybe I want to meet the man who killed him. I don't believe that's the reason. It's still the money, isn't it? <laughs> well, I guess we'd better get Betty down for the night. Come on. Gun and the uh, preacher. Well, it uh, looks like Jeff figured find his keepers, doesn't it? That old fool's gonna get himself shot. I don't know. That old fool used to be pretty handy with a gun. He still is. That darn fool son of mine running off like that. I've been looking all over for him. Wait a minute, Ty. You're not going anyplace without me. They're still together. Heading south. Right into Mescalero country. If they were heading to Chihuahua, why wouldn't they have turned east through Dog Canyon or west by Mule Ear? Maybe they just want to hold up for a while. Anyhow, we'll know pretty soon. Can't be more than an hour ahead of us. Get the saddle, men. We'll be starting home by the night. <laughs> Some patrol up ahead. Let's get him off the trail and under some cover. Come on. of a patrol to follow. Patches will be back. Get the girls out of here. 
Well, it's all open country back up there, so we better take them on down the wash. We can't leave you. We can't move him, that's for sure. What are you waiting for? Get out of here. Now you stay hit, you hear? Take care of yourself, son. You take him down the wash. I'll cover. All right, as soon as I get around the corner, you come on. Ha! Ha! Hi, give me a hand. What are you trying to do? I'm not going to stay here flat on my back. It's the patrol.
guys is finally caught up to us. Gracious mercy and protection we commit you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace forever. Jesse and the boy ending up buried side by side. That's not so strange. They started out together. We're not going to wait for those mescal hairs to come back. We're going home. Think you'd be able to travel, Jeff, if we take it easy? Sure, Pa. If you help me. Oh, I'll always help you. Pa. Where are you going? You folks get on your horses. I'll be back in a minute. You see, you can't be too careful with all those thieving Indians around. Glad you hit it for him, Jeff. I'm right proud of you. Young fella, I guess you'll be taking this back east to its rightful owners. I'll turn them into the nearest army post. I've got nothing to go east for. A plant with stopping beneath the sky Young guns of Texas riding high All young men meet the match one day Along the trail 